open up more gaps where we're not able to fund public education the way that we should. The Knox County Board of Education voted to pass its revised fiscal budget and it calls for millions in cuts. Reporter Gabrielle Hayes has more on the vote and what it could mean for your children. The Knox County Board of Education passed a $507.8 million budget, with $3.8 million of that going to the replenish fund balance, but not without some concern. We need all the resources to make sure that they are um, learning equitably in the school system. The system did, however, have to make some cuts. That includes a $1.7 million cut to 20 positions in the central office and system wide. Another 700,000 would come from five day furloughs for yearly employees. But conversation tonight also hit on some concerns about magnet schools and professional development. Board member Evity Satterfield talked about magnet schools specifically, which board members say more than 100 people asked about over the last day. I'll make a commitment too that, hey, we will put, we'll put that back. Much of the system's revenue comes from state funds, which are down due to COVID-19 economic impact. And Coach says that isn't lost on anyone. Everything is still uh, unforeseen. Coach adds there's a lot to look at as the months go on, considering the economy and how that relates to the numbers. And as always, focusing on what's best for the system's students. A little bit delve deeper and see what we really need. What are our needs to actually help sustain public education and make sure we're educating students to the best of our ability.